Yeah, here at Horsham for the Australian Junior Motocross Nationals, just with the KDM guys helping out where I can, and it's just good to come down and watch the talent that's coming through out of the junior ranks these days. It's pretty crazy. I've been watching a few guys out there. There's a lot of names you can point some fingers at, and they're going fast. It's good to keep an eye on the talent, see where the sport's coming from. You know, this is uh, this is where it all starts. This weekend, you see the Wade Carters, you see the Nato Crawfords, the Jed Beatons. There's a lot of talent, and the junior kids of today are probably a lot more committed to it than what they were 15 years ago. Turned on the great weather for the finals, and every race has been a good race so far, so it's been really entertaining to watch the, the great young juniors riding and some good Australian champions coming out of it too. I love coming to the juniors every year, I love it. When I come back here, it's, uh, it's just old memories, you know. I even feel the nerves and I, I sense the pressure that the young guys have, you know, the tension when they go up on the start line and kind of take it all in, feel it all. It's a very good experience. I love walking around and talking to a lot of the competitors and they're totally wrapped with it. It's a big week, it's a really big undertaking to put an event like this on and the club here has just done a, an amazing job, you know, and the races have flowed smoothly and everyone's had a great time. With the sun shining today, it's made for perfect track conditions. I look around the pits and I'm just seeing smiles from people. It's fantastic. All the infrastructure and everything that Kenny and his team have done, it's just fantastic. And in my opinion, we have raised the bar for junior motocross titles in this country. We've just come over just for the pure experience of it and uh, it's been awesome. I'm really wrapped that we did come for the experience, so we've had a really good time. I had heaps of fun. It was the first ever year doing this. Missed out by, like, I think it was nine points, but I'm going to regroup for next year. It happened. It's just great to have these guys here. I've been doing some interviews with them and they've been sort of quite freely giving tips to all the junior riders out here to help them through the week. And Helping the kids is, is something that is sort of natural for I guess most pro racers. I feel honoured to pass on the knowledge that I've learned over the years racing and help these young kids develop quicker and hopefully a bit better than what we grew up with. Oh, this is their world, uh, you know, all the young kids, they aspire to, to the great heights and, and this, is, this is it for those and uh, the whole year leads to this last uh, month of the year. It's a showcase of Australian junior motocross talent that's essential to keep producing high quality riders. I mean, you look at the current batch of Todd Waters and Dean Ferris and Kirk Gibbs, they're all guys who have won titles who have gone on to win professional championships now. The kids that I've seen here this week, they're, the, the front guys are definitely uh, are going really fast. They're putting everything into it. You can see their bikes look good, their gear looks good, they look professional. The mums and dads look professional with all their pit gear on. You just look at the pits with all the tents. Everyone's going to bigger levels to make it better. I think that the kids coming through are definitely riding faster. We've just got to put that into play when we go, when they go pro and, and get to the next level. That way, I think once we work on that and get them a little bit you know, from junior to senior, that little bit of a closer level, I think we'll, be, we'll bring a, a lot more people through.